Hello and welcome, my name is Andrew Peel, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through an example of how you can export PyClone assembly data from Blender. This video is primarily for developers, so it gets a bit technical, but if you have an understanding of how Python and the Blender API works, then this will make a lot more sense. I will be developing specific export functionality from Home Builder to allow cabinet manufacturers to send their information to different manufacturing and ERP platforms. But to start out, I created a simple export example so developers can understand how to read the assembly data in the scene. Let's go ahead and take a look at how it works. So if we open up the scripting workspace and open up the sidebar, here with the PyClone add-on installed, we have a couple examples that we can take a look at. First example is how to create an assembly using Python. And the second one is how to export the information from the assembly to a simple text file. To start out, let's go and take a look at the assembly creation template. So here at the top, this is just the import modules that we're using. And since the PyClone library is not included in the Python system path, we are first appending that and then getting access to the PyClone types and the PyClone unit. Next, we are creating the assembly. And so here we create an instance of the assembly class and then we call the create assembly function and pass in a name. And so this is essentially the exact same thing as going to add and adding an assembly here. This is just what it looks like in code. So after we've created that assembly, we're then gonna go and set the dimensions of that assembly. And since the assembly has an X, Y, and Z object, we can access those objects with these properties. And then we have access to all of the standard Blender properties that we would need. And so for the X dimension object, we're setting the location X property. And here we're using the PyClone unit module in order to specify an inch value. And so we're just setting the X dimension to 30 inches, Y dimension to 24 inches. And there's other functions in there to just enter in millimeters and convert different values to the standard Blender unit. After we set the dimensions, we're adding in some prompts here. And so we're using the add prompt function and we're giving the prompt a name. We're just calling this my checkbox and the type is a checkbox and the default value is false. Then we're adding in another prompt called my selection list. The prompt type is a combo box. And here, these are the different combo box selections that are available. And the default value is just index zero, which is gonna be this first option here. After that, we're adding an empty to the assembly. So we're just calling the add empty function and giving the object a name. And that's gonna to return to us the Blender object. And we have access to all of the standard Blender properties. So in this example here, we're setting the empty display size to be one inch. And then we're assigning a driver to that. And when we're working with drivers, we need to first get access to the variable that we wanna use in our expression. And so in this case, we're getting access to the Y dimension object. And the property that we're using is the location Y basically the same information that we're setting up here. And the variable name that we're gonna use in our expression is dim y. And so by getting that variable, that's gonna to return to us a variable that we can use in our driver. And so for that mid y object that we just created, here we're gonna go ahead and add a driver to the location y property. The expression is going to be dim y divided by two. And the second parameter here is all of the variables that we're adding. So this is just a Python list with all the variables that we're using in our expression. Right now, there's only one. And so here, let's go ahead and um, run this script here. And so here, that has created our assembly. And if we open up the properties here, we'll select one part, go to the assembly tab here. So we can see that we have created the assembly. We've given it a name, my Python assembly, which is right here. We specified the dimensions. Right now we're displaying the units as meters, but these dimensions are gonna match what we've set here. Here we've added in a couple of prompts. So if we go to the prompts tab, we can see here we have the my checkbox, which is currently false, but we can turn that on and off. And then we also have the my selection list, which gives us these three options. Next, we are adding in the empty. So if we go to the objects, we can see here we have the mid Y object. And if we drop this down here, we are adding a driver to the Y location. And so here, if we select that object and go to the logic tab here, this is the expression that we're adding to that property. And then here's that variable that we added. 
And so this is just a real simple example of how you would go about creating an assembly using Python. Let's go and take a look at how we can export this information, how we can read this data from the scene. So we'll open up the export template and we're doing the same thing. We're just importing the modules that we're going to be using. Here we are collecting all of the assemblies in the scene. And so we're just looping through all of the objects. If the object is tagged with is assembly BP, then we know that that is the assembly base point. And so we're just creating an instance of that assembly. We're passing in the object that is the base point, And then we are just appending that assembly to our assembly list that we've created here. Then we're just going to create a simple text file for exporting. And here we're going to loop through all of the assemblies in our list and gather the information that we want. So here we're accessing the name. Here we're getting the x, y, and z dimension object. We're just rounding that value to three decimal places and then converting it to a string. That way we can just print this out as a text field. And then we're looping through all of the prompts in the assembly. And we're creating a dictionary of the prompts, the key being the name of the prompt and the value being the prompt value. Then we're just writing that as a single line to our file. We then close it and then open it up directly in this same space. And so here, if we run this, it's just gonna have one line because there's only one assembly in our scene. But here, this is the name of the assembly. These next three are the dimensions of the assembly. And then we have all of the prompts that are in this as well. Just so we have a little bit more information to look at, let's go ahead and add in a cabinet really quick. And let's unlink this and we'll just run this same script again. And so now there's quite a bit more assemblies in this file since we have a cabinet in here. And so here we can see this is the assembly for the back with the dimensions and the prompt that is included in there. Here this is the base door cabinet. So it's the top level assembly with again its dimensions and all of the prompts that are included. So this just gives you a real simple example of how to export all this information and just write it to a text file. Python has a lot of packages that can be used if you want to export this as XML or JSON or whatever information that you want to write to. So there's a lot of flexibility with that. So that's all I wanted to show in this video. If you're a developer and have questions, or if you're interested in creating an export to a specific platform, feel free to reach out to me. I will be happy to help out. I'll put a link in the description of this video on the best way to contact me. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll see you in the next one.